Hello to all of you fascinating people. I am Debbie, and I am on a lifelong healing, growth, recovery, and progress journey from being involved with toxic, dysfunctional, abusive people. I wish that I could say that my goal is to live my life on this earth free from being exposed to dangerous, toxic, and abusive people, but that wish and desire is very unrealistic. Because of my experience with the damage, dangers, and destructions of being involved with abusive, toxic people, reaching out to help other abuse victims is important to me and is one of many of my spiritual practices. Our Father in Heaven, God, did not create His people to be placed on this earth tormented, heartbroken, tortured, violated, injured, bullied, assaulted, abused, mistreated, and hurt. God's people were created to represent God's spirit of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. Being whipped, smacked, kicked, hit, knocked around, or traumatized does not represent not one of the fruits of God's Spirit. What I have found to be a problem is when people, including myself, are not able to face the reality that is happening against us <clears throat> while in relationships with abusive, toxic, and dysfunctional people who more than likely have some sort of severe disordered personality. It is a problem when a person is not able to swallow the truth about the reality of the violent abuse that is happening against our mind, body, spirit, and soul due to experienced shock distress, confusion, surprise, devastation, upset, disbelief, and numbness. This thunderbolt and rude awakening is what is causing us to delay making a very important decision that is going to make a difference between saving our life or losing our life to the violence of abuse. We have to understand that when someone has done something damaging, vicious, abusive, dangerous, destructive, or devastating against our mind, body, spirit, soul, and life, their abusive negative actions have made the decision that they are no longer interested in having a two-way happy, loving, kind, and healthy relationship with us. Continuing to have a relationship with a toxic, abusive bully will require you to be in a constant state of silence, surrender, obedience, compliance, submission, and plain old bootlicking. You will have to give up any rights that you may desire for yourself. You will have to put off having a healthy, good life for yourself by putting your life on hold. You will have to learn how to be more flexible and open-minded about being neglected being disregarded, being ignored,
being disrespected and being humiliated. You will have to learn how to live with verbal, emotional, spiritual, and maybe even physical abuse. You will need to learn how to live in a state of constant fear and worry. But on the flip side, leaving a relationship that is against the health of your mind, body, spirit, soul, and life can be very hard. It can be very challenging and very difficult, especially if there is a lack of proper finances and children are involved that is keeping you from making that great escape to safety and security. Make sure that you are receiving knowledge. Knowledge is power and that is going to help with the progress of healing and recovery from abusive, toxic, dysfunctional people. Until next time, I leave you with a sincere comment that you should not be fearful of losing rotten, abusive, toxic, dysfunctional people who have severe disorders with their personality from your life. But you should be fearful of losing yourself being involved with toxic, abusive, dysfunctional people who have chosen to be satisfied with their abusive treatment of other people and their untreated personality disorders.